Hey Marshmallow Peeps, what's up? Uh, today I want to do a review for the 2005 film Hard Candy. There it is right there. I picked this up at the flea market the other day because, uh, well, I'd heard some people talk about it over over the years. And um, I like Ellen Page. I really like her a lot. And I like Patrick Wilson. So I went into the film, watched it. And uh, if you haven't seen Hard Candy, by all means, Go watch it, then come back and watch this review. Uh, I don't want to ruin anything. So, uh, but boy, Hard Candy's a, it's a difficult movie to watch and a difficult movie to review. At the, uh, at the beginning of the film, Ellen Page plays a girl named Haley. I think at the time she made the movie, she was 19, but Haley's 14 years old. And at the beginning of the film, we see some text messages going on between her and someone named Lynn's man. And the, uh, basically the, the text messages are, let's meet up, let's meet each other. They kind of have a, almost like a sexual innuendo to them. Uh, so, so the two characters of uh, Haley and Jeff, played by Patrick Wilson, meet up in this coffee shop, dessert place, whatever. And we find out that Jeff is like a 32-year-old man. Haley's 14. So obviously, he's, he's a creep right off the bat because he's doing these text messages. Uh, he's seeking out these young women to talk to online. He's talking to Ellen Page, and uh, it's inappropriate behavior, obviously, right off the bat. So we know he's got some serious problems that he's meeting up with this young girl. They meet. Ellen Page plays the character very sweet, innocent. You know, she's she's very convincing as this 14-year-old innocent girl, and he is is playing the character, very self-aware of what he's doing. I, th I think at one point he says to her, you know, I have to wait four more years before I can do something like that. So he knows, he knows she's 14. He knows he's doing something he should not be doing by talking to her and meeting up with her. But he convinces her to go to his place. They go there. They go to his place. She's being very cautious. She's like really cautious. At one point, he offers her a drink. She's like, I don't know if I should take a drink from you. You know, you're an older man. I don't know if maybe you put something in the drink. So she's playing the characters very cautious and, and sweet at the beginning. But eventually, it turns out that he is drugged by her and he wakes up and now she has him captive and she's seeking revenge for the things that she thinks that he's done in his past just i mean just the fact that he is even talking to a 14 year old girl in the way that he's speaking to her having her come to his house and stuff that's very wrong he's obviously a creep but one of the great things that the movie does that I love about it is sometimes movies will make you feel things that you're uncomfortable with feeling. Like, like for example, in the film, we know that Patrick Wilson definitely has an issue here, a problem. He's definitely not a good person because he's doing this meeting up with this 14 year old girl but throughout the film she's constantly accusing him of doing things like she tells him you're a child molester you're a pedophile and he's saying i'm not i never did that i'm not like that and she exacts this revenge on him by at one point she ties him up and she's going to castrate him to keep him from from violating any other women and girls and uh the, the thing the movie does that that is really powerful for me is that you sort of you sort like in the in the course of the movie it's hard to explain but in the course of the movie the the role between predator and victim starts to blur I mean obviously he's a creep but we never really know the extent of of what he's done. She's accusing him of a lot of things. He's denying them. So we as the viewer don't totally know what his story is. We know he's got a problem. And she is just gonna, you know, at first you look at her and you're like, oh, yes, get him, get him. But then through the course of the film, we're kind of like, 
we start to feel sympathy for him because of what she's putting him through. And that's one of the powerful things that movies do. This is a perfect example of the, the things that movies can do by making you, the viewer, feel things that you're not totally comfortable with. I mean, I don't like the idea of feeling sympathy for Patrick Wilson's character because he's obviously shady. But through the course of the film, it kind of makes you sympathize with him, which is really one of the amazing things about movies. This is the kind of film that if you watch it, you want to talk to someone else who's watched it. You want to, it's brutal, but not, not in a gory way. <clears throat> but if you've seen Hard Candy, you watch Hard Candy, and you know people who have seen Hard Candy, this movie can really make, I think, a lot of really interesting conversations between people on what their view of things were and what they thought he did and was she right by doing what she was doing is she over the top is he you know as bad as she's making him out to be i, I don't know it's he's it's really a very uh interesting film it really makes you think a lot about what the the subject matter is it's a really touchy subject and it's handled in such a way it's well incredibly well written very well acted. These two, Ellen Page and Patrick Wilson, are pretty much all that there is in the movie. It's just those two together with each other in this place, in this house. Uh, some minor characters come and go, but uh, this this sort of play between the both of them and the way that they interact with each other is uh, really intense, really uh, an incredible, incredible film. I really loved hard candy a lot. I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad I bought it. Uh, I don't know if I'll watch it again for a while though because it's such a it's just such a disturbing topic. I, I don't it, it really made me very uncomfortable to watch but uh, I'm glad I watched it. It's definitely worth checking out. Uh, have you seen hard candy? What did you think? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts were and uh, until next time guys so as always, see you later. Thanks.